Hello and good morning, everyone. It's Michelle from Divine's Purpose. How are you today? I'm jumping in to do a reading for the Divine Masculine. We're going to start off with the emotional space. Divine Masculine, we are stepping into the full moon in Scorpio, honey. How you doing? Um, the energy is still very high. There's a lot of heart awakenings of the collective. Um, you might still be purging at the dark night of the soul. You're definitely in some type of reflection mode, but really stepping in to your higher self, higher love. Congratulations. So we're going to tap in to see what spirit has for you today, Divine Masculine. This is definitely a message from spirit to you in regards to what is what is your journey ahead in the next couple of weeks. Um, and excuse the noises in the background. Um, I'm in a new, I'm in the new spot today, um, working with a lighter, brighter light, so we can bring in the light for y'all. So, starting off with my 47 emotions cards. This is my deck. I created it using um, the beautiful Aphrodite as the cover, um, representing emotions. And then you'll have 47 different of different emotions using my photography and my art, um, all beautiful concepts, all feminine energies, goddesses. If you're interested in purchasing this, please click in the link in the description box in my store. Um, so spirit, I'm going to be calling in um, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, who are strongly with Divine Masculines at this time. Please clear the energy and come in in regards to this reading for Divine Masculines. May I have Three emotions for Divine Masculines at this current moment in time. Thank you so much. One more. Cool. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, guys, is fear. Um, so right away what I'm tapping into is you removing masks or you still sitting in this place of fear. Um, there's a reason why I chose this card. This actually is a series called Genesis that I produced before I left Baltimore, Maryland um, with my beautiful team who was also very spiritual. I know I have to give them a shout out because um, it's been a while and they're still very close and dear to my heart. So this card really does represent the mask. You can see it here. The fear of the programming, the fear of comfort, the fear of stepping into a place that you have um, known that you have known for a while, but you are still sitting in ego, still sitting in the programs that were brought to you. Um, and this fear energy is still lingering as of now. Um, but the three cards that did come out, and we have another mask card, is Furious. Um, so there is some anger surfacing here, and it's probably because of the dark night of the soul that you're currently in. Um, but you can see the transition from one mask to the other. See with this, it's covering more of her face and this one, it's like the veils are coming off. So the fear is turning into this furious emotion. Um, but in the end here, I feel like the emotions are getting better. We have yearning, that emotional space. So you're gonna get that anger out, release it, release it divine masculine. Um, release what no longer serves you and then step into a place of your emotions, yearning. You're yearning for something. I'm going to clarify these energies. And then we have warm. And again, there's another water there. So I'm tapping into masculine energies very strongly. That has to do with a lot of emotions. Um, and I feel like this deep heaviness on my chest right now while pulling this up. Um, and I just received a message. So that's fantastic. That's another confirmation from spirit. There is communication ahead. Yes, and it's so funny, right, when I said that, there's a Divine Masculine who just emailed me. Okay, let's get this popping, okay? I have a heavy chest, but whatever. Let's get this popping. Let's confirm these energies right here. Okay, I think what I'm going to start off with, look, yin and yang. I'm going to start off with some Oracle decks here, guys, to really confirm these emotions for you. Um, it's a transition, for sure. We have furious, yearning, warm. Something is definitely happening. Mm, excuse me, I didn't realize you guys can't see all these. There we go. My bad, my bad. 
something that's definitely in transformation with your emotions. I am tapping into a divine masculine who is very used to numbing his heart. Um, somewhat of an artificial heart type of energy. Which is very interesting to feel in my heart space at this current moment in time. But you're tapping into it. So let's get one on Furious. What is this emotional space in regards to? Journey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Number two. Divine partnership. Journey. You can see this divine feminine walking towards her destiny, her divinity, her light, her higher self. Um, she is packing the bags that she only needs for her journey. Um, and she left the rest behind. In her hand, she's holding this magical light crystal, really um, in really representing the divine. But the reason why it's behind her, wow, this is beautiful, I'm just tapping. The reason why it's behind her is because she's leading the way for you, divine masculine. <laughs> so yes, your divine feminine is present in the reading. And this energy is making you somewhat furious because maybe you are changing. You're stepping into a place that you're not comfortable in. And it's bringing up a lot of fears. Fear of love. Especially higher love. Because the programs that were brought to you in this 3D existence of love, what love is, is not truly the love that you define, that your heart desires. This is beautiful. And can I be honest with you? This journey right here, you can really see it too, if you can see it. The bridge is the rainbow bridge. Welcome to thy masculines to your ascension and awakening. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Yes, you'll be getting some um, energies of fear and anger because, you know, there's something going on deep inside you and you don't really understand it. But trust your intuition. Trust it. Door of value. Number 31. Okay, that's a four in total, so divine masculines. There's something that you're yearning. You're yearning to the door of value. Now, there's two energies that I'm getting here for sure. Divine masculines, have you been working hard in the material world? Are you yearning for some type of title? Some type of achievement? Because if you are, that's very beautiful. But please note, there's much more behind this door or the veil. I don't know. It's a door that meets the eye. The door opens, but there's value in yourself, in your ascension, in your spirituality, in your journey, in your true authentic self. And that's what you're really yearning for. And I feel like once you open this door to the higher love, the higher self, the higher consciousness, to the light side of you, divine masculine, abundance will flow. So that's what you're yearning for. Okay. That's different. But I guess we're going to rock with it because that's what I channeled. What's this warm about? Woman holding a coin. Okay. Divine masculines, and this is a 42, which equals a 6, unconditional love. There is something here that's sitting here with materialism for sure. I'm tapping into that 100%. Um, but look at this woman holding a coin. Sitting on her throne. The black cat represents the knight. I'm going to need one more card for this. No, this one's definitely not it. Spirit, can I have one more clarifier for this? Sorry, guys. There's two energies that I'm tapping into, and it's driving me nuts because I can't really put my finger on it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. First of all, we have Archangel Raphael has entered with his heart chakra, and then the world, which is like the completion in energy, but what I'm seeing most of this is that we have a 38 and a 29, 11, 11. Okay, Spirit has confirmed this for me. This is about Twin Flame Partnership. And the third card that came out is Broken Heart. So, 
Let's go back to this energy right here. There is something about this energy here that equals the six that you are longing for. I feel like it's a part of this as a story. Um, and it's coming in the summer months. But this definitely has to do with your divine partnership and past, past energies of materialism. Hmm. There's a heart chakra activation with the um, Archangel Raphael, who is really truly with you at this current moment of time. I feel that he's guiding you, Divine Masculine. So if you ever have um, a bad day, call on Archangel Raphael to guide you. Remember, they're there to guide you. Divine Masculines, you are divine. You are part of divine. Therefore, the Archangels are here to help us. But they will only help us if you call them in. You have to ask them to come help. And then you have to call them in and open up your hand to receive their help, okay? Because there's this energy here that you're standing at the edge, looking at the world, looking at your life, reviewing. What I'm getting from this card, and I don't like to bring out karmic cycles, but this is a very karmic energy. Materialism. The woman holding the coin. Women who are just looking for money, for the spotlight, ego-based, you know, like you look good, you know, that's the programming, like you guys look good together. It's it's just, I, I don't know why I'm tapping into that. I just feel like you're looking and re evaluating your world and what you really want. It's like that crossroads, like if you're going to take the higher route, or you're going to stay in the lane of comfort and materialism and programming. Um, but because of this fourth chakra with the broken heart. I feel like spirit's telling you, if you go down this road, this is the energy that you're gonna come into. That's enough of that. Um, I'm not really liking that energy. <laughs> but that is what spirit is basically fighting with us today, so thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about your crossroads. What's going on? We're going to tap into the Lightworkers Oracles um, and see what Spirit is trying to tell us. There's a card here that does not belong from a previous reading. Let's see what it is. The Garden and the Gates. <laughs> Number three. Well, 33. It's a very beautiful card. This is really about your abundance um, in the physical and spiritual, excuse me. Okay, so let's tap in Divine Masculines into this cliff that you're standing on, that world. What decisions are you looking at at this current moment of time? Well, that one came up fast. First ray of power, yes, you have ascended. You are very awakened, Divine Masculine. Grounding. Key of life, these cards keep coming out. I'm going to ask for one more. Beautiful. Sixth ray of devotion. Bottom of the deck, star child. Okay, so this is beautiful because you're standing. Excuse me for a second, y'all. i got to show the visual because this is the card that I'm asking about, the 29, which is 11. You're standing on the edge looking at your life, looking at your spiritual growth. What is there? You'll see the world, half, majority of it, not even half, I would say major, majority of it is covered by light and the rest is covered by shadow. Okay? This is, again, the energy of serving two mas uh, masters, divine masculine. This is spirit's energy here of saying, are you going to step into the light or are you going to stay in the dark? Because you can't serve both masters. And this is the crossroads that you're on right now. 
Okay, this is the energy that I'm tapping into at this current moment of time. So I'm asking spirit about your journey as of now. Okay, as of now. Readings are timeless. Obviously, it's a collective reading. Take it as it resonates. But this is spirit's way of confirming that you are a star child. Do you know what a star child is? It's like crystal children, indigo, rainbow children. Yes, you are special. Yes, you were brought here and sent here for a purpose. But you also have to close out cycles that no longer serve, karmic cycles, bloodline, rituals, things of that nature. This is Spirit's way of confirming you are a star child. So if this resonates with you, I would suggest that you look into this a little bit more, for sure. Um, yeah, so let's continue with that. Okay, so we have the first ray of power. We have grounding. We have the key of light. Wow, beautiful. And we have six ray of devotion. I'm going to ask her to confirm these energies using my after tarot. Some of my cards are all backwards today. Must have been from my previous reading. Okay, first ray of power. This is definitely, a num it's a number one card. So you are definitely stepping in to your ascension divine masculine. And that's why you're looking at the world, really debating on where you should go. Divine masculines, you're very logical. But sometimes you have to step out of that headspace and really tap into your intuition. Step into the feminine parts of you and your emotions. You will get a little bit more clarification in that energy. Okay, so what is this first ray of power regarding spirit? There is an ascension, there is an awakening. You are tapped in for sure. But let's see what's going on with that energy for you. Because there's definitely a choice that needs to be made. Thank you. The hangman. <laughs> still in limbo. Divine masculine, you're still in limbo. I really love this card. I love the after tarot because it gives you like what happens like after, like a five seconds after traditional tarot. So the hangman is a divinity card. It's, it's, it's a divinely guided card. This is saying that you need more time to really figure out what's happening um, and more patience is required. The reason why I love this card is because you see the masculine hanging. Kind of like it how he's hanging too, kind of chill, kind of like, yo, like this is the way I hang. <laughs> so confident. But what I love is the light circling his head, the sun. The sun is a masculine energy, but there's light around his head, even though he's hanging. But what else do you see? You see a feminine coming to give him water. So you divide feminine in this, in this beautiful journey of divine partnerships. It's still there, thirst, like giving you water. Even if she's not really there, spiritually she is. She's still giving you that thirst of knowledge. The nutrition that you need to carry on to the journey. Remember, we're going to go back to this energy here. Guiding the light behind her so she, you can lead, she can lead the way for your ascension. But you are awakening. What's this grounding in regards to? Five of swords. Okay, this is mental energy. Five is a change, but this is also about conflict. So, if you have any mental conflict at this current moment of time about what you need to do with your life, Divine Masculines, this is um, Spirit's way of telling you it's time for you to ground yourself. Because you've planted a seed. I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but you've planted a seed in the higher realm. And now it's time for you to put in your work for it to grow. But this is also an energy, if you are ever in this energy of anxiety, um, being unsure, know these are mental thoughts and you have control over your thoughts. 
Making a choice, pause, not doing anything to change your circumstance, not making a move, putting a pause, that's actually a choice. Remember that. But Spirit's telling you it's time for you to ground your energy, really get into nature, meditate, breathe, and vibrate high and set your desires high at this current moment of time. Key of Light. So it's Archangel Michael that has present um, has come out. He represents this card here. It's Archangel Michael, which I love because I asked for Archangel Raphael and Michael to come over us today, and they're both present in the reading. Too many cards. And in this card, Archangel Michael is giving his divine masculine some keys. Keys to wisdom, keys to higher learning, to love, to his ascension. Fantastic. Let me show you the card while I'm describing it. Here we go. Here we go. You see it, guys? So this is Archangel Michael providing you, Divine Masculine, the keys of knowledge. And look at you. You're accepting. So congratulations. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is the energy of a masculine building his kingdom, really. And then you have the Three, which is the tri trilogy. Um, but it's really watching your crops grow. It's the same. It's really, I feel like there's a connection here with the grounding. Okay. And then we have Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is an offer in the physical. Um, so... What I'm getting from this card, Divine Masculine, is that you're accepting these keys to knowledge. You are in a position of ascending and choosing light, choosing higher love. Yes, you still have fears coming to you, but you're in transition here. It's really beautiful. I could see you growing. I could feel it. But the thing is, it's actually manifesting in the physical as well. And there's an offer, an offer that you might have to give to someone or an offer coming in. But there's, it's, some, it's definitely happening in the physical. And then we have the sixth ray of devotion. So you are really getting devoted to yourself and the journey. Yes. Amazing. Okay. So 43 is a seven, which is cosmic um, love. And then we have number four of pentacles. Four again. There's a lot of fours here. And this is like you're holding on tight to something. You're holding on tight. Now, there's two things that I'm getting here. You might be holding on tight to your old self because you see this like death energy coming through because you know there's transition. You know this ascension is here. You've seen something that you can't unsee anymore. You are awakened and you're holding on to these pentacles, this security, this, this old way of living. But you know this, this energy is coming to take it away because you're ascending. You're stepping into a new place of devotion. Devotion to yourself, first and foremost, but devotion into your journey and your mission and the purpose why you're here. Remember, you are a star child. You know more. You feel more. It's so cool. And then this is Spirit's way of confirming that you're moving on up. Because this is a chariot and this is another divinity card. You are going places, honey, and you are ascending. And you are the chariot. And look at how his hand is on his heart. And then he has the balance between the light and the dark. Yes, Divine Masculine, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Um, I'm going to ask Spirit where you're going in regards to your heart space. So we're going to get some um, whispers of love. And the reason why is because I really do feel like your heart, your heart um, chakra is opening. And I feel like there's some messages just for you and for you to realize of what this love and higher love is about. And I will confirm it with some other tarot as well. And then I think that's a wrap for today. So... Let's get this going. So, you definitely have a choice, but I feel like the choice has already been made to my mask Um, I see, I feel, excuse me, that you have seen things that you can't unsee anymore. Your divine feminine is definitely leading the way. 
but she is shining that light. No matter where she is and what she's doing, she's shining that light. And you are following because you know. You know who you are. So let's get some whispers of love for you guys because Divine Masculine, at this current moment in time, you guys need to really, really find the love within yourself. But also have spirits send you some love too. You've been through a lot. You know, the Dark Knight of the Soul is not an easy energy. And anybody who goes through that, you know, congratulations to you. Okay. I'm asking for three, but <laughs> beautiful numbers here. I'm asking for three, but spirits telling me to look on the bottom of the deck. And now I know why, because it's 11. Divine Masculines, you are a part of a very spiritual connection. If you are part of the Twin Flame Divine Partnership, if this resonates with you and you know you have a Divine Feminine out there, congratulations, you are awakened to the journey. Um, if you need to know more about this energy, I would say look into it, but be wary or even contact me. I can even give you some information about the journey as a Divine Feminine in a Twin Flame Partnership. Um, but this is really spirit's way of confirming. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize, which is really beautiful because I'm going to do a reading on IGTV later in regards to strength with the Beauty and the Beast card. This is spirit's way of confirming you are stronger than you realize. And this journey will take strength because you have been set in some ways and programming that is going to take a while for you to get out of. Um, and that's beautiful. But here you can look at this beautiful photo here of this beautiful angelic being with the crystals on her head. The crystals is her crown. It really represents her ascension, her higher self. But then she's looking down at a crystal ball, I believe, yeah, with another woman, another feminine energy here, really guiding her, really showing her. And this energy here is really about the strength of having faith and trusting your journey. Because this is really about having faith and trust. And it takes a very strong-willed person to really surrender to the higher self and have strength that everything will be okay. And you'll see rainbows all along. So that really represents the rainbow bridge. Beautiful. So the first message for you, Divine Masculine, is choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. I love how this card came out for the finale of the reading because we were looking into you having a choice. Now, the choice I am tapping into has to do with your Divine Feminine for sure. Um, I'm not sure if you are realizing or tapping into that energy yet, but it's not even choosing your Divine Feminine in regards to um, a romantic partnership if that is something that you resonate with that's beautiful congratulations love is everything to me um, but what I mean by that is really choosing your life path and your journey and your purpose and your mission with your twin if you are a twin flame you know you are one you guys mirror each other in a lot of ways uh, maybe more than you even know or maybe you are aware of it I'm not sure but this is say choose love and that's what you will be choosing is love. And the reason why I also, I don't know if I said it, 21 is a three, it's a feminine energy number to me. And then we have number six, which is unconditional love. Be willing to express love, express love to receive love. This is for its way of confirming. It's time for you to really put action into this energy if you have made a choice already. And it's time to really express yourself properly from the heart space. The seashells on the head, again, represents higher love, higher learning. Um, and, of course, the watery energy of emotions, which is beautiful. And the last card here is number 22, which is another um, card for divine partnerships, the number. But then 2 plus 2 is 4 for masculine. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. So this is really it's speaking about your journey and what's really happening. You know, I always say, like... <laughs> I'm a photographer, so I'm very visual. I always feel like if you take the camera and zoom into, let's say, two people, and you see them smiling in the camera, beautiful. Then bring the camera all the way up, all the way up to, I don't know, like 
plain view, you don't see them. You just see the world around them. You see the clouds. Um, you basically see the world. And that's how that energy that I feel, like there's so much more going on that you even know behind the scenes. There's a lot of angels and spirit guides that are helping you along your journey, Divine Masculine. You know, this is there's no such thing of coincidence. You know, like if you've been, that's a horrible shuffle. Um, if you've been in the journey and you've been awakened, you know, there's a reason for everything. But it does require a lot of strength. Absolutely. Devotion. Absolutely. And love. Because only love is real in the end of the day. I'm going to get some clarifiers here for you. And then we're going to wrap it up. Okay, guys? So choose love. Can I have one card, please, for this? Ooh, the magician. Choose love, divine masculine. You are the magician, warlock. I love these cards. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of these cards, but I just love the drawings. So, spirits, the spirits confirming. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love, as the magician. Magician. Okay, so you know you have the role of the magician, the warlock. In the past, you might have not used this role properly in regards to energy. We know there is a lot of things that can go on behind the scenes as a magician, okay? It depends the energy and the intent of what you're trying to manifest. But Spirit is telling you you are the magician. You are, you have the powers and the desire to manifest your dreams with the energy of love. Really beautiful. Be willing to express love. What is this in regards to? And the Magician, guys, is a divine card in traditional tarot. It's it's um, a major arcana, I mean, so it's from the divine. This is too many. Just one, please, spirit. Be willing to express love. What is this in regards to? What is this message for you today, divine master? Thank you so much. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so again, very grounding energy. Express love to receive love. This is just confirming that this is a physical expression that needs to be done. It's done with, it, Spirit's way is saying it has to be done in the 3D. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles is that energy, and we had it earlier. Oh, no, we didn't. We had eight, excuse me. Seven of Pentacles is really about hard work and achievement, really putting in the work. Um, so... Yeah, what I'm feeling from this, it's kind of cute because it's a number six. I feel like this is going to take a lot of courage and a lot of strength, but a lot of work for you to actually express yourself to my masculine. And maybe this is what you're doing behind the scenes too. Maybe you are putting in a lot of work um, with your inner self so you can come forward and express the love. Okay. That's cool. The heart of the matter. Four of Swords, Recovery. This card keeps coming up. There is more going on than meets the eye, and you're aware of that. And this is the energy that you're currently in. You're still in recovery mode. Okay, I need one more card for this. Why is it on? Woo! Okay, guys. Big energies here. This spiritual awakening has brought you to your tower moment. Dark Knight of the Soul. This is just a confirmation. And then it's the world. This is the last card. Both of these are both major arcana, by the way. The world is the last card of major arcana. Um, and the world is an ending. Um, and <laughs> the world. Divine Masculines, you have made a choice. Congratulations. You have made the choice of love, haven't you? But now it's time to physically manifest it and really take action. Yes, congratulations. I love it, so I get too excited. Okay, it's time for you to make the choice. This is the world. This is your destiny. This is a completion. You have made your choice, okay? You are no longer going to be looking back. You are looking forward. You are ascending. You're making your choice. You've gone through your tower moment, and now you're in the position of recovering. So you can come into your divine partnership in the physical and express your love because you know you are the magician. You can manifest whatever your heart desires because you've chosen love and because of your divine feminine who is leading the way for you you know she will be there to at least have open communication 
The rest, I don't know. I can't tell you. Everybody's journey is different. But if this resonates with me, and I hope it resonates with you, I'm going to let you know your Divine Feminine will have communication with you 100%. Now what you guys communicate about and speak about, that's up to y'all. Beautiful energy. So, that's it, Divine Masculines. If you need to still recover, please recover. Full Moon in Scorpio, the energy is very high. Like I said, a lot of sexual energy. Be careful with those karmic cycles, guys. Like, honestly, really know what you desire. And then put that, put that energy in something creative, something that you desire. If it's a project, if it's art, if it's music, put it into that because that will even work even greater for you as a magician. There's a lot of energy that you can have here. But there are symptoms, okay? There are symptoms of ascension that it actually manifests physically. As of now, for divine masculines, we are tapping into stomach issues. We are tapping into um, headaches, head pressure, especially in the third eye, sinuses, especially around the eyes. And the last um, one that I'm aware of would be sexual energy um, and lack of performance because you're not really tapping into your higher self. If this does resonate with you and you want your own reading, please let me know. You can contact me at michellearistocrat at live.com or you can find me on Instagram as well. All links are below. Thank you every single person who is watching the video, of course. Much love and divine masculines. Congratulations, y'all. Come into love. Have a great day. Bye.